Hi, I'm Denise Applegate Schobert, and I'm here to show you a process of drawing out a design, practicing it before you digitize it in your quilting software, embroidery software. So I have a couple samples of where you could get designs from. This is a quilting magazine, and inside of here, they have quilting patterns. Sometimes they have leaflets with quilting patterns that give you opportunities to make designs to go along with quilt projects that they might have in the magazine. I also have this design pack, and this is a design pack from Golden Threads, and on the back it has a key to all the designs that are inside of it. And really neat that there are lots of designs. So in here it says continuous patterns. So that's really good because you want continuous patterns for quilting. And it says that they may be enlarged. It also says that you can copy them into digital art form. So a lot of things you need to check your copyright because that's really important to know about. Now Martingale and Patchwork uh, Books puts out designs in a box. So this is a box of designs. It has over 25 designs in it. These are the Civil War designs. I really like these because inside you get a paper pattern. This is a panograph. Anything printed to paper is really a panograph. It could be a border, it could be a block, a corner, an edge to edge design. But these show a key. So if I hold this up for the camera so you can see it, these show a key. And the key is really important because what happens with the key is it shows you the direction you need to go and it gives you a numbering along with arrows on the key. So I really like those a lot. I have quite a few of those. Now I also have stencils because before I um, had a cubat, I had to stencil the designs on my fabric to make them. So there are different types of stencils. These are both stencils from golden threads and they also have a key in the corner. So if you um, get a stencil check to see if there's a key and these are a plastic. Now let's talk about what we do to set up. Well you want to be on a sturdy flat surface and I have a, a template plastic laid over top of my panograph and I'm using painters tape to hold everything in place. So I removed the painters tape on this You'll see here I have a piece of paper that's taped down and then I have my template plastic on top. This is one of the grids that you can get from Golden Threads or from Quilters Rule. There are lots of different um, grids to choose from and we carry those on our website under Notions. I've lined up the grid so that it's lined up with the design I'm going to do. And I have an assortment of markers. Now, the ones I'm using today are dry erase. My preference is a wet erase so that when I'm moving, I don't wipe it off with my arm. But while we're recording today, I'm using the dry erase just so I can wipe them off and start again if I need to. Now, I'm going to go with the green and I'm going to mark where I'm going to start at. So I'm going to mark that I'd like my starting point here. This particular panograph does not have a little key for me to know what direction to go in. So I'm going to decide which direction. So the green is going to be the go, and the red is going to be where I'd like to stop. So start and stop of my design. And I'm going to use the blue marker to draw it with. Now I've played with this and I've drawn it out with my fingers to figure out where to go. And then I just practice my drawing. And I know that I can erase this if I do something in a space or in the wrong direction and I can start again. So I'm just following the lines. Now some of these will have an area where they might have to travel over itself. And some designs the lines cross over. So I started in the green here where I wanted to, and I ended in, at the red where I wanted to end. That's really important. If this was a border, and let me use a different colored marker. If this was a border, I would want my start and end to be on the sides so that it could connect together. So, you know, you, you would digitize it differently for that. These wipe off. Like I said, this makes it very easy. So let's just draw the same one 
for a border. Again, let me get my green and red. So I'm going to have it uh, start on the um, right, which your right would be here and my left. It's where it's going to end on your left because that's how it works at the frame. I'll use the same blue marker and this might be more of a challenge to do this. So I'm going to go down like this around the center area. This time I'm going to go into the center to secure that center. And now I'm here and I have to go to the other side. So I could make another trail that went through the design like this to end there. Or Let's do this one more time because you may find that you have to do it two or three times on your template plastic to get the right direction. We know our start is here and we know our end we want here. And think of your cursive writing class. Maybe in cursive writing, you were taught never let the pen leave the paper. So I, now I'm going to go to the center. So I made an extra connection line to this little spider web. And the only place that I crossed over was right here in the middle. And that works for me. So if I need to remember, I would go in and I'd start drawing my arrows to go the exact direction that I did and remembering what I did. So this is the easiest way for you to practice your designs before you take them to software. So try that and see what you can do. Now let me just pull up one more of these stencils. You would do the same thing with the stencil. Okay, so here's the stencil. The difference is going to be that you're going to put it on a dark paper so you can see through it and then draw out on your template plastic. Scan in your images. So your stencil can be scanned in, your paper patterns can be scanned in, your panographs, any of those things can be digitally put into your computer, scanned in, use your smartphone or your scanner, whatever you have available to do that, and then make your beautiful designs for your QBot or whatever automated system you have in your software. Happy quilting!